Now then. 1992 also sees the Channel nearing completion. Let's be quite honest about it, the French have been rather keener on this one than the British. The most extreme antipathy came, of course, from the Bruges group, but because television is not allowed to carry interviews with terrorist organisations, <laughs> Mr Ridley's words, ladies and gentlemen, now will be spoken by an actor who wishes to remain anonymous. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Geoffrey Palmer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, no piano, please. <laughs> There'll be carloads of Louises from Parisian stripteases introducing foul diseases into Kent. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be modern French Wells Fargo's sending juggernauts with cargoes of old mutton and escargots and men's scent. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be Dutchmen, too, by Jingo, loudly murdering the lingo, coming over for the bingo and the dogs. And through this umbilical, seeking knickers from St. Michael, girls from Rotterdam will cycle in their clogs. <laughs> Scandinavians, on each corner, faces beetroot from the sauna, trying hard to flog their pornographic filth. <laughs> Belgian girls of vast proportions who failed to take precautions, coming over for abortions on the health. <laughs> There'll be eye ties, slick and smarmy, driving all our women balmy. <laughs> Trousers tight with the salami out on show. <laughs> There'll be fights at immigration as the Germans of each nation give the Normandy invasion one more throw. <laughs> There'll be Spanish senoritas jamming all our parking meters with their miserable pesetas, I just know. Portuguese boys doing the samba, shouting vamos and caramba, and insisting that the amber light means go. <laughs> now Lithuania and Albania, and Ukraine, Transylvania, will all come here and Romania, I just know. <laughs> I'm not staying to count the tally. I'm not going to shilly-shally. Mine's a one-way trip to Calais, P and O. Oh, no, none of that, please. <laughs>